Hello. We're going to Joe Average's home garage. Get it? Joe Average. <laughs> Cause, Average Joe. Because there's got to be something up with his dirt bike. Yeah. You see, I'm one of life's winners. Every morning I put four slices of bread in the toaster, but only eat the slice that pops up first. When I have a coffee, I only drink the bit that wins the race to my mouth. But on this bike, I always finish dead last. I'm wondering if there is much stuck to the manifest or whatever it is slowing me down. I'm also kind of superstitious, so I haven't cleaned the thing in over 15 years. Thanks. We're working for some disturbingly weird people. I this hate game. this guy. He doesn't drink his coffee. He lets, he lets it go to waste. And he wastes bread because he only eats the one that pops out first. I hope he has like... Two children and a wife to eat the other three. That's going fast. Yeah, this is the, you know, this is the breather episode. This is like, ah. So we'll do this in five minutes and then we'll uh, get stuck in the dirt on the playground. Uh, is that what you're saying? No, we're not going to the playground. We're going to the bungalow. Okay, because we're already at five stars. We are at five stars, 73 but percent. Yeah, 100% is. I'll just go very quickly. Up and if over you go like quickly, that. I get motion sick. Please. Have some consideration for your future wife. Well, how about I want to go to the bungalow and get it done quicker? So, I don't know, maybe you should be one to have some consideration for your future husband. Oh, so you want to finish faster? Don't you want me to finish faster? <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, that, that will be considered. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, there it is. Oh my god. Incredibly, the mud flaps are muddy. Imagine that. Yeah. Um, over here, the frame. The back one. Yeah, definitely the back one. There it is. There it is. The engine is dirty. It sure is. I'm just going from every side. Maybe from below. Hmm. There it is. <clears throat> but what else remains? Oh, not that one. That one. Um, the fairings? fairings and foot pegs. Whatever that is. Tank, some candle sprocket bars. and some swing arm door. Sprocket? Yeah, what, yeah. The, what the hell? I don't know, man. There is uh, right on the tip of the handle. The brakes. There you go. And the bar is clean. Uh, uh. What? Uh, there is a dirty fairing to the left. Huh. Okay, now we're there. So, fairings, rear fender. The rear fender is right there. Yes. Um. What's the swing arm? I'm not familiar with bike parts. Like you have to excuse Maybe me. Maybe use your Witcher senses. I am using my Witcher senses. Do you think it would be easy for me to see the orange <laughs> dirt on the orange bike? Oh, I didn't know you were using your Witcher senses. Probably because it shows the dirt in orange on the orange bike. I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there. Okay, the rear fender. Where though? Oh, that's right. Okay. And sw what is a swing arm? Do you think? Uh, is it the thingy that you pop out to let it rest when it's not in motion? No. No? No. You sure? Pretty sure, yeah. Okay, swing mm, arm. Come on. It's an arm like thing and it swings out when you kick it. No, so. that's called a uh, wait. That's called a um, uh, what, what was it? It's a foot peg, I think. The, 
No, uh, the foot pegs are on the two sides. So well, it can't well, be okay, like I don't know what's called. Like I'll just like go around a little. Let's see. Maybe go down a little. Swing there on. it is. Okay. So I think this is it. We can this move is on now. it, and it's not like giving me. Uh, oh no, I'm skipping this. Clean as an egg, you're a legend. Nothing can stop me now. You know, your lifestyle, maybe. Okay, Calvin Miller. Hey, Doc, you know what I mentioned my folks? I should be giving them, like, more uh, diverse accents. I don't know. You think this is from Texas or something? Hey, Doc, you know how I mentioned, you know I mentioned my folks? Well, I think it's time that bungalow met your pressure washer. It's so filthy, it's hard to tell where the ground ends and the house begins. When I mentioned to your ma... When I mentioned you to Ma, her eyes lit up. <laughs> Please don't mention Pops my Ma. And said the brown of the porch, the warm of the torch, which clearly means nothing, so he's overruled. If you can give the place a good clean up, I'm sure it'll give them both a lift. Thanks again, Cal. That was not a Texas hey, accent at all. His pops is not feeling very well. Yeah, probably because of the all the stratified dirt on the bungalow. God. Yeah. I'm so glad you're here. Calvin is such a good boy. He's a Vulcan, vul Vulcanologist, you know. Because it's not a Volcanologist. <laughs> it's, it's so weird, right? There's this dude, I don't remember his name, but he's a scientist. And he's been to these scientific conventions here. Where we're from. And he studies volcanoes. Volcanoes. Um and volcano eruptions on other celestial bodies. Space volcanoes. Yeah. Basically. Could have said space volcanoes. Yeah, he, he's studying space volcanoes. And it's, I've listened to a couple of his lectures and it's fascinating the things he, he can share. I was just making sure. So, Let's not mock Miller, he might study space volcano volcanoes. Why can't I say that word? I know, right? It's not just me. Oh. oh, it's giving me just the driveway, is that it? So peculiar. Hey, let me just uh, check something out. Yeah, I have to clean it from the back as well and probably the roof as well and you have a ladder i do have a ladder and this ladder it'll go up there yeah okay oh you should get a move on then get a little pep in your step that that one doesn't clean things it only gets it wet but the dirt remains Then I'll use the extension. How about that? That does not count because you already went over it once. Hey, which are saying? Oh. I mean, it really betrays the fact that you've played a lot of The Witcher because you could have said, you can detective mode it. Why? Because that's what... Uh, that's obviously Witcher Senses. That's what it's called in the Batman Arkham games. The Witcher Senses in the Witcher games are orange. Or at least in the, in the last game. And here and there it pops up in red, I believe. I should double check that. I might be making an ass of myself right now. Why? Because you're famous for what? 100% The Witcher? Three? <laughs> Not famous. But I've completed the game along with its DLCs, all of its 
uh, side quests. The only thing I haven't done is play um, uh, the Gwent game, mini games. Well, then you have done nothing. <gasps> oh, come on. As if you care about card mini games in inside of games. No, no, no. I care about the card games. I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! for months now. And I don't mean the new ones. I mean the old Konami ones with the voice acting from with the dudes from the anime. It's very jank. I love it. Like, that was my childhood there. You know what I'm wondering? Should, should I test the... No, it's still not active. What in the ass? Like... Maybe Hold we have on, to... can I use it without the extension? Wait, wait, go back, go back. What is it? Uh. It's equipped. Mm -hmm. I have to do... It's refill. Oh, wow, that's so dumb. We, we are so dumb. We are so <laughs> stupid. Okay, let's just... Go like this. And that's almost done. That's the multi-purpose one, like that. And uh, let's check out if there's any stone surface over here. No. Around the walls? No, there are mm -hmm. multiple purposes. No, that's multi-purpose, yeah. Um, what about these steps? Oh, these steps? Yeah, uh, no, that's multi-purpose as well. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll just be using that over here. Make sure the stone is nice and clean. Yeah. And how about over here in the corner? And let's just check out. Yeah, spray good. Don't ever talk to me this way. <laughs> ever, ever, ever ish. <laughs> Yeah, it's mostly done, but that all counts as part of the driveway. Yeah, so. along with the edging, so... Yeah. If you do it, it might give it to you. I don't know, I'm not sure, like... Look... Well, you've missed a lot, so... Not that much. Okay, um... This second there. Maybe move in no, step. No, I like it here. I mean, it's only in the way for that part. And I should be using the extension now. And the short one. That's the medium one. No, that's a short extension. No, it's the medium. It gives you medium range. Yeah, because I have. No extension, short extension, long extension. That's short range, medium range, long range. Fine. Like, we are saying the same thing. You are correct. My tiny female brain does not comprehend. Oh, don't you do this. <laughs> You've not earned it. Wait for me to truly be misogynistic and then you can... My tiny female brain, blah, blah, blah. Guys, today we watched that. Um, it's a note. Italian production, I believe. Yeah. Called Fantagiro, right? Yeah. Is that how you pronounce it? Uh, I would assume so, yeah. Um, <clears throat> and it's very old. It's the early 90s production. Yeah. Like, when it was made, she wasn't born yet. Yeah. Born like a, like a year. In like a year, yeah. Um, but there's the first 20, 30 minutes of the first episodes are just straight out m misogyny. Um, for a little context, even though I don't think the context would be necessary at all, uh, it's about... It's a fantasy show. It, it, it is a fantasy movie series, and uh, the main character is a princess that was, I believe, foretold to be born a boy and become the heir to the kingdom no they lied uh the soothsayers lied to the king oh that, that was you a... have a boy so it's a false prophecy yes 
Yeah. It is. But also, uh, it's about kingdoms at war. Yeah, there's two kingdoms at war. And the king really wants a boy. You know, someone who will uh, who lead to inherit victory. The, the throne, yeah. And like... But then uh, a, a, a witch, a fairy... Uh, eh, she was a witch, I think. She tells him a, a, a real prophecy that uh, his daughters, he has three do daughters, will bring about the end of the war. Yeah. But the entire movie starts with things like uh, you should bow to your men, you should uh, give up reading and writing because that's not a womanly duty. You should make sure your man is fed <laughs> and warm or something. It's You should accept your destiny as someone who is less of mind and body. W was that man. was that a thing or are you just interpolating uh no, i movie? called you for that one specifically oh no you know what you did call me you... for uh, that part of the movie and then we we saw some just i we, heard some horrific things and then you're like oh that's just, just the tip of the iceberg it was much worse before you came yeah like the whole thing is on youtube and uh i don't know if we, if we can find it in english we found it in our native language, you know. Well, I'm pretty sure you can Google some stuff. But it's a very old show. It is indeed a very it's old show. It's actually a, a cool fantasy show for the for its time. I should be using the long extension here. But uh, yeah, the misogyny was purposeful because Fanta Giro is she's one she's the main princess, the, the main character. Uh, she actually fights against um, those misconceptions and goes on to become. A hero, a knight. That she does. I had a crush on the actress, and it turns she, out today she that she had a pretty. crush on the actor. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, uh but because they ended up together, now we'll end up together. We're like pair of despairs. Yeah. We're the Faramir heroine of this relationship. Did you just call me Eowyn? <laughs> I knew you would react like that. Like I hate you. I will not feed you dinner. You might be doing worse than that. Like you might be killing me in my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not spending time in jail on your behalf. <gasps> They're not worth it. <laughs> wow! Wow! Well, I guess that's the litmus test of the of a relationship, folks. Like, uh, would your significant other do time for you i mean for killing you like i'm, I'm not are we arguing semantics here are we though no, because i'm not uh, making a heroic sacrifice to do the time instead of you you know and leave you on the outside to raise our baby because that makes sense what baby exactly i'm just forfeiting my own life for you and i'm already doing it so <laughs> wow wow way to way to circle back to <laughs> what we watched today it's amazing <laughs> let's do this door yeah I'm clean light up you son of a beasting of course it's the hand I remind you to use the auto auto sprayer. Maybe I don't want to use the auto sprayer. Maybe I want to like. You want to ruin your trigger. Exactly. I have to say though, like. Is, where did I not catch the wall? Oh, over here. There it is. Hold on. Go up. And there it is. The wall is clean. But this beam is not. The gutter, you mean? Oh, oh, right. That's a gutter. I'm sorry. That's on me.
so some simple math show that if we do the bungalow we'll have nine hundred dollars at the end of that which means we'll be able to afford the medium range power washer yes well i mean the medium size power washer which should be a bit more powerful or else why would there be any point in to buy now well, i sure hope it's more powerful oh that's all part of the porch cool 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 okay rotate it no do it like this just rotate it why would i be rotating it i don't know Going okay you want me to go up and down now when you explicitly didn't want me to do this before care to explain how it makes sense okay you're right my tiny oh <laughs> my god no don't make this into the running joke of today's episode like i swear to christ <laughs> if i see a thumbnail with my tiny female brain blah, 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 i i will like break a window <laughs> i don't know <laughs> oh yeah from that side i just miscalculated <laughs> thank you what i miscalculated in what way because of my tiny female <laughs> brain please stop like people start thinking that i'm telling this shit when I, I i think you're like the smartest person i know it's not fair hmm. oh wow what the white spray Ooh. and i'm just over here doing the remember you're on the long extension i you am don't... on the long extension you yeah. shouldn't get close that's right come on come on man no oh, give me that part from below from below on the upper beam just... yeah i just wanna yeah. Although they look... Oh, there yes. we go. Also, did you see that? What? Look up. To the right. That. On, in the... No. What? In the corner. What in the of the, corner? Of the, of, the, of the porch. What? That? No. Inside the beam. What the hell do you oh mean inside God. the beam? This. Oh, oh, I would have got to it. Like... Look how much shit I have to clean. But it's, and you're the, like, it's the only one there. It doesn't matter. Like, Ugh. I have so much of this already. Like, let me just get the bulk of it done quickly. And then I'll be able to focus on the small parts. Fine. I'll keep quiet then. Yes. Know your place, woman. Exactly. <laughs> Did the movie not teach you anything? <laughs> Admittedly, I only saw mostly the first half hour of it, and I have no idea whether there was any comeuppance to that way of thinking. You watched the second half. I with did me. watch the second half. The last third, maybe. But but the thing we both remember about the movies was not in that one. Yeah. The ragdoll. Yeah. It was I, a ragdoll. I... I had almost no memory of that first part. To be perfectly honest with you, I think I only remember seeing like two movies when I was a child and then much later in life I realized that, oh, this was a thing I've seen, let me just uh, check, I don't know, Wikipedia, Google, something, and it turns out that there were like, what, four movies, five movies? Five, where are, where, where we are. So, you know, there's... I'm pretty sure I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen the first one. I don't know. I just remember they did a lot of, a lot of uh, reruns, I believe. Oh, there and were a lot of reruns at some point, yeah. It's, uh, they stopped it ab abruptly. 
you know, like aired in the first three movies, one after the other, and then you haven't seen the rest. Stopped forever. Well, yeah, maybe, maybe then I've seen the second one, the third one. Um, but there's uh, a dub version, so I assume they aired all of them at some point. I I wouldn't know, honestly. I don't remember. I remember just enjoying it very much. It's pretty much baby's first fantasy. Yeah, basically. It's even one though, of the first it, fantasy shows I, I saw. Like, even I was though, I have to say, there are several moments that are decidedly... Um, how should I say this? Un-PG-13? <laughs> Inappropriate for contemporary TV. Yeah. I'm not going to mention them because I don't want to get some weird government watch list. Yeah. Whatever government that might be. Yeah. Like, I don't want Interpol to knock down my door and be like, So, that's what you're doing in your free time, you we've freak. Been, we've been, you've been re-watching Fantagero. How about we uh, sit down here and have a little chat? <laughs> Maybe we want to call you folks. Your workplace, sort some things out. Your future wife. Well, you're assuming we're not living together at this point? I don't know. I imagine I'm at work when they come for you. How would you be at work when they I come? I don't know. At you, home? you might be ill or something. Ah. Down with the sickness, you ah, know. The sickness of watching Fantagio <laughs> over and over again obsessively. <laughs> Just it's just me <laughs> looking at the YouTube video and you know the waveform uh, and how uh, yeah. it's just the the, the most uh, the, the highest the peaks they're just all the problematic parts. <laughs> <laughs> We're watching it obsessively. You're like in the other room, babe. Um, it's it's time for bed. Yeah 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 yeah. Go. <laughs> Shut go, the door. Go, woman. Assume your wifely position. Don't look at me. If the door is closed, you don't get in. Ma keeps messaging. They're getting really excited with how it's looking. Sounds like it's still going great. Oh look, you already have the five stars. I do have the five stars. So I, weird. I don't know how though. We're only 40% in. Yeah, but that's not nearly enough money. I got to get that cheddar. How about you try and finish that porch? You want to finish the porch? Yeah, because we're in it. Time wise. Well, okay. I'll concentrate my efforts on the porch. Because, yeah, I do have like, what, 10% of it left? Yeah, something like that. And uh, I don't know if the roof of the porch counts, though. It might. Like, um, you mean going up? Yeah. Although it that makes more sense. To be part of the roof? Um, yeah. The whole roof. Well, at the very least, let me try and get the wall because the wall is also uh, very near completion. Yeah, make sure we finish the back side. Okay, that's the wall. Let's do the window while we're here. It's so dirty, like... How do you get these? What do you mean, how do you get them? No, I mean, ob it's obvious how I get them. I power wash them. <laughs> In the game called Power Wash Simulator, I don't so much just go up there with a... I don't know... Toothbrush? A towel... A moistened towel and be like <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one i didn't know i had this one in me <laughs> i i will be absolutely honest with you come on like should i, I yeah you can get in there no power to wash it focus on the power I'm so close. I am so close. I'm so... There it is. I mentioned earlier... The window frame is still 
dirty though. Yeah, the wind of rain can go fuck itself. I'll just use the bricks here. Uh, finish the goddamn window frame. You want me to finish the window frame? You want me to, to finish the porch as well? Well, it's too late now. It's just, yeah. You wasted time. I didn't waste time. I don't think you'll be finishing the, the porch. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, you know what? Son of a beast. Ding. There it is. Ah, oh, there it is. That's the frame. Can I just <gasps> very Good gently job. go up this? Like, imagine me crawling down. No, that's on, that's on the side. The problem is on the side with this one. Oh, never mind then. Let's just try for the porch. But your window is also dirty. Um, let's see. Uh, no, I shouldn't be down here. Should be in the middle one, I believe. The medium distance. Oops. I am using the. No, get your get your. Oh, the extension, you mean? No, get your person to the medium distance. Crouch, yeah. <laughs> I couldn't think of the word crouch. Could you? I could. I oh, just wanted to. How... That's so creepy. Yeah, you also don't have a reflection. Yeah, because I'm a vampire. You're out in the broad daylight. Yeah, that's why I'm doing the suit. Why are your gloves yellow again, though? I do not know. Do I have to uh, equip them? For every job you do? Yeah. Would oh. I have to? That's... I'm giving you three minutes. And then I'm leaving your ass. <laughs> I'm going to my sister. I don't have a sister. Yeah. It was just uh, trying to be dramatic. Mm -hmm. Turn that around and shove it. No, I don't need to. I'm going to catch it like more securely. From below. It's no more true. Will this be enough? Or will I fail by the end of this episode to clean two full walls in the driveway? This is not enough. It's not enough. Crouch. Society. Crouch. Okay, I'm crouching. Society when I'm thinking less of me. What society? The know. YouTube society? No, Those no. Freaks? <laughs> the freaks? Yeah, the people in Buckingham. <laughs> They'll be like, huh, so you're not that much of a big shot, eh? <laughs> We're going to kill you with a stake to the heart. What's with you're the killing Because you're obviously a vampire <laughs> because you don't have reflection and you're out in a full head to toe suit to protect you from sunlight exposure. I would believe. Sai. <laughs> like, th this is such a calm game. I, I need something violent <laughs> to balance it out. Like, like it's always the thing. Like, it's, it's, it's basically how we watch the Hallmark movies. <laughs> like, we assume people have some dark secrets. Like, look at that old kindly neighbor who is... Uh, you know, a bit cur curmudgeonly, but uh, they have a good heart. Secret Nazi. They, oh. es they escaped from Argentina. Hopefully uh, not. Into Argentina and then into the United States. That's, that's wild. Yeah. And how about the local spunky florist? And okay. the porch is done are you happy though yes okay that window is still dirty though that window is still dirty i'm going to finish it and by the time i have finished it we will have said our goodbyes for the day and you can join us in the next episode where i'll be handing over the reins and uh i don't know i'll be doing a much better job wow bye bye indeed <laughs>